Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the finale of Kane's Tale, and let's play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. No, they didn't restock on all the treasure here, and I, I still don't think we can go anywhere else in there. In the castle. Yeah, all our business is in the throne room. I gotta use the throne! The John. After all, all toilets in the kingdom are known as Johns. Ah, oh, he survived. Oh, so, okay, so we can't believe in God in JRPGs, but gods, we, we can be pagans, that's okay. And, uh, got it, and a goddess. We can have female God and paganism, that's great. What were you gonna do, Sid? Bleed on him? That's... Where is he taking her? Well, I guess he's going to take her home. Don't you want to go to your home? Uh, yes, sir. Can we make it back in time? Let's find out. I'm surprised we made it close enough to, uh, to get there on foot, let alone follow after them. Somehow, I don't think that's going to make her love you. I love the scene that they had in the FMV with Kane and Rosa there. That was so awesome. <laughs> that's so badass. Not that that's a good thing to do for, to a woman, I'm just saying that for the story, it was made you really want to hate the guy. It was very effective. It's super effective! Ludicrous speed! We can't go that fast. We have to speed accelerate first. Which airship? Well, that would be Kane's because he got there first, obviously. I was gonna say, whose airship is that? It's time for the main event, Rosa. In a steel cage. I'm sorry, I went through that quickly. Oh, oops. I was going to go into the town, but apparently not. Yeah, I was going to go in there and Kane just says, like, where do you think you're going, Rosa? Or something like that. And it kicks you out. Like, no, you can't go into the town. Although we've already looted everything in the town anyway. So that doesn't really work. From uh, Theodore's tale. Touchdown! Dismount! Or wait, no, that, that's my other LP. I keep on getting these two mixed up. But anyway, nice thing about Sid is he comes with a power arm. So let's give him the bone wrist. Oh, right. I have the giant's gloves. Well, if I didn't have the giant's gloves, I would give them to the to the hooded man or Theodore, but. Apparently, we can just have power armlets on everyone. So, all right, there we go. How are you doing there? You got everything good? Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Surprised we're that close behind them. For mini boss time. Remember, uh, don't use the blood sword on these guys or the damage will reverse on you. I'm surprised they thought of that in, uh, didn't they do that in the original Final Fantasy 2? Like the NES version that I LP? Like if you used the blood sword on an undead enemy, it would damage you or something? I thought they, like, took that into account, which was surprising to me. Okay, 
You uh, can't go anywhere, or well, you could go anywhere else in the castle, but we've already fully looted it, so it doesn't really matter. Ha! We've made it! Just in time, too. Well, what is your relation to him, anyway? Huh? Say huh again! I dare you! I double dare you, you spoiled prince! Say huh one more goddamn time! Uh, I thought he was king. What's going on here? Well, there's only four of us here. It's not exactly in public, but whatever works for you. You should have finished me off the last time. For boss time! We are going to have boss time, aren't we? There we go! <laughs> okay, let's take him down! Of course, we can't jump exactly, but we'll just go all out anyway. Not like Kane can. This part is pretty much scripted, so just go all out here. Let me know if you'd want to see a low-level fight of this, because I have a file from uh, when I first played the game where I uh, kept the Hooded Man at level 15. Just if you're interested, let me know. Maybe I'll throw that in the Challenge Dungeon episode or something. Well, yeah. Who wouldn't? I'm going to be quiet for this part. Yeah, kick ass! Now we are king with the Dragoon Lance, which is holy elemental. So let's put our. We got the jump command back, so now we can put that to use. Wow, look at that damage! Yeah, Dark King is susceptible to holy, so that'll be really useful here. I love how we use the four fiends, uh, the fierce battle theme here. It's so amazing! <laughs> Get him, Kane! Or, well, uh, good Kane! Ha! Gotcha. Well, what do you mean by that? Accept him. He's evil! Yeah, so apparently, good Kane lost to evil Kane back then. Yeah, pretty much. How does it even work? You're a mirror. You can't... It's like leaving a holodeck. Kane? How could you? <laughs> By the way, the ice brand that I had on Kane... Yeah, I can say Kane now. The Ice Brand uh, is not lost. That just uh, got shuffled back into my inventory. Is there music playing? Because if there is, I can barely hear it. Ah, there we go. Ah, pretty words! My only weakness! Not yet, anyway. Remember how we spared Cecil's life together? Well, now I'm gonna spare your life. Alright, well, oh yeah, they already have the Earth Crystal, so, nuts. What justice? Killing the bad guy? 
whatever works for your definition. How did that voice get here anyway? I wonder if that's, you know, maybe that's not Kluya. Maybe this is uh, the King of Baron because he's saying my sons, you know, because they were adopted by the King of Baron. I never thought about that before, huh? But anyway, for defeating him, we become the Holy Dragoon King. Yeah! And now his stat growth is a lot better. If you... Now, back what I was saying in uh, Theodore's tale, if you killed off the Hooded Man and kept him at level 15, and then grinded him up to level 50 after he became a Holy Dragoon, he'd have like about a thousand more HP and a hundred more MP. The stat growth of the Holy Dragoon is ridiculously good. Uh, the basic stats don't change. Just HP and MP is the only thing that changes. So, But even if you just play it normally, like I am now, you, you'll still be fine on stats. It's just that the Holy Dragoon is just ridiculously good. Easily the best character in the game. It's the, the best combination of speed, uh, strength and equipment draw. So, yeah, let's take a look at him now. So, yeah, he's got the Dragoon Lance. Wait, well, okay, maybe not that much more powerful, but still more powerful than the Ice Brand. And it's Holy Elemental. Remember, you don't need a spear to get double damage from the uh, from the, his jump command. And, yeah, pretty much everything else is, is here. So, all right, there we go. So, let's take on the Mysterious Girl now. We made it at last. Of course, it's fitting that Rosa would be the only person who would recognize Kane as the Hooded Man because they knew each other as children, I think. Well, in any case, that's all for Kane's tale. But can we defeat the mysterious girl and get Cecil back? Who is the man in black? And where did he come from? Find out next time on, well, which tale are we going to do next? Well, we're not going to find out all the answers, but we're going to find out some of them next time in, well, I don't want to spoil the next tale yet, so let's just find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. What the? Well, there's still one more tale to go before we uh, move on to the final tale. The Lunarian's Tale, my favorite tale in the game.